Hello people, people of the most high God, it's your girl, the love, the Spencer, and we are back on another episode of Sundays with the love, the Spencer, jingle the bells, jingle the bells, jingle the bells, <laughs> maybe I'm going to have a bell on this, my show, really, because I love all those, you know, chiming things, <laughs> okay, you're welcome back to our channel once again and with your girl the love these friends <laughs> okay yes this is the last sunday of the month of january ah like seriously for the first time in a january month like this ah it was fast and quick eh January does to look like what, two years. Like you are, you check your calendar, you're still in January seventh. Ah, you check again, January eighth. Check again, January eighth and a half. <laughs> but here we are at the end of January. All happy, hearty, healthy. Ah, it's by God's grace, my people. You know, the mercy of God. The mercies of God that knew every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Can you just bless God? Just bless God with a smile on your face. Say, Lord, thank you. 2022 is a good year. 2022 is a beautiful year for me and my family. I just know it. I just know it. Come on. I just know it. I'm so happy. I'm so glad. I know that 2022 is a good year. It's an awesome year. Yes. It's a year where we will leap through boundaries. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, and we go break through every limitation glory hallelujah you can feel my excitement right yes that is how i want you to be excited at every time of your life nobody should steal your joy yes nobody should steal your joy do you hear me nobody should steal your joy as far as you are a human being on this earth and you love yourself and you love the Lord nobody will should steal your joy you know why because joy is a gift that God has given to us to be able to move through this life hurdles and all that and all that okay let's get into the business so to the business so to the heavy so to the, I'm so excited in my spirit because I know God is doing a great thing and he will do a great thing through this episode today Okay, today we'll just we'll be praying. I want us to be praying every last Sunday. Our episodes are always on Sunday, so I want us to just, you know, we'll be praying. You know, all talk and no pray makes the talk useless, it makes our life useless. I don't know if you understand. So we keep talking and we keep talking and we don't pray. Really, you know, makes sense. You know, gel. You know, balance. Hey, that's the word you know balance so today our prayers are for the singles yes to my single friends out there of course if you're married you can turn the prayer to suit you to suit the situation you are in so for the singles our prayers are directed to you today yes for you for you for you God is calling out to you to make some declaration to speak his word back to you so I was thinking today, while I was taking my bath, I was like, whoa, I was just remembering my ordeals of um, 2020, the COVID year, and uh, the lockdown COVID year. And God, God reminded me of something so important that I should share to you today. So, that 2020, I was somewhere in the eastern part of Nigeria. I was locked down. I was locked down. <laughs> You know, some people are not locked down. I was locked down. Oh, somewhere without nobody, without my friends, without my family, but just alone. But that was, you know, I, I always say this, that as a believer, nothing happens in your life as 
an accident. Everything is orchestrated by God. Do you understand? Okay. So nothing. So that COVID year that was locked down, it wasn't an accident. Okay. So I stayed. I the Lord prompted me in my spirit to pray. So of course when I'm alone, ah, so what will you do now? You watch movie, watch movie, I get tired. So I prayed. I prayed. I listened to messages. Of course we're not going to church. So I listened to messages. I prayed. So many messages. So many prayers. So one day I was taking a stroll. You know when you stay indoors and me I'm, i can be a very indoor person ah forget that i'm a sanguino but when it comes to my introverted part high i can be very very introverted so sometimes i just want to lock myself in don't see anybody don't talk to anybody just stay by myself so at some point in that covid period that was how i felt like oh yeah that was how i felt like okay so one evening i was just taking a stroll i was just walking the holy spirit asked me a question because one of my prayers i said god give me a godly home i need a god-fearing husband i need my children to be brought up in a god-fearing way wow to me those prayers were asked ah, that i something that a normal single should pray for now why will i come and be thinking of why do i need a god-fearing husband why did I, oh, I never thought of that. I just made the prayer, sincerely. So, the Holy Spirit asked me, so, Sandy, there's a way we talk, actually. We talk. You know, the Holy Spirit talks to you in your understanding. So, he talks to me like, you know, like a guy guy. <laughs> so, like, Sandy, why do you need a godly? He asked me three questions. Why do you need a God-fearing man? Why do you need a godly home? And why do you need God fearing children? Wow! I paused. Wow! I can remember vividly the spot I was when this question was asked. Ha! I had to think back. I said, okay. Because he told he asked me why. So it, it's just like presenting your strong reasons. So what actually he asked me to do was to present my strong reasons before God why I needed those things. So do do he wanted to know my motive. So most times some of us pray, make some prayers we want to make just so that we could spite other people. You understand? I need a God-fearing man just so that what you show to you show the world that ah my husband is God-fearing. You know you can preach and tell the world that ah. You have to be like me or be like my husband my dear i did not have that strength in the first place if i didn't want to marry in 2020 i didn't know i was going to get married in 2020 i was busy preparing for other people's wedding i was busy preparing and planning other people's weddings i never knew i was going to get married in fact if you asked me by me ah i'll tell you um sometime 2021 december that's what I told my husband then. 2021 December. I was like, ah. My best friend was like, ah. I said, yes, so. Me, ah, I wasn't ready. But somehow God was ready. <laughs> he was ready for me on my behalf. So he asked me those questions. Wow. Do you know I took my time to go back and think on the reasons why I need those things? And the next time I prayed, I presented my strong reasons. So today, I want you to sit back and reason. Okay, we've been talking about good marriages, we've been talking about good homes, good spouses. Sit back and reason. Why do you need good marriage? A good marriage. Why do you need a good spouse? Why do you need a good home? Why do you need why do you need what you need so as singles i want us to have that at the back of our mind so we don't pray aimlessly in this in the kingdom we we fight our battles strategically so we don't make prayers that we just be flying the flying without landing at any place do you understand you know prayers that don't make that don't carry weights are not backed up by strong reasons, are not backed up by the word. 
So you just make prayers. Lord, I need a man that is fair, tall, dark, and handsome. I need a man that is plumpy. I need a man that all those things are good. But to an extent, we need to make prayers deliberately. What do you want? It's not too late though. What do you want? When I and my husband was, we were talking when we were cutting, we were so specific to the sexes of the child, children we want and how they should come. Yes, that I have a baby girl today is because we talked about it and we told God that, okay, this is what I want, I want we want. But, but you know that there's, there were some things actually that we said that um, didn't come to pass because that was God's will. For example, we didn't want to get pregnant so early. We wanted to wait for like six to nine months, you know, stuff like that. And then I'm married. <laughs> and I could just feel God laughing when I took it. I was just like, ah, God, God was just looking at it. See the lele. <laughs> so that one was not. Uh, he said, no, this is what I want. So this is how you're going to go about it. But we talked about like plain things what we wanted specifically and we prayed about it so as a single you should learn to pray specifically about what you want i mean specifically i've learned over time that god is a god of specificity so if you're going to god and you're telling god lord i need a car he's like okay okay you need a car there are so many cars what car do you want god i need a phone okay there are so many phones what kind of phone do you want so god i need a husband god i need a husband god i need a husband what kind of husband do you want god i need oh, i want to get married i want to get married why do you want to get married what kind of marriage do you what kind of children do you want do you understand so we are going to be praying as singles that god will help us hmm? god will help us to be deliberate god will help us to know what we want and to know his will per time because most times you can pray out of god's will so if god's what god's will for you is mr a you can be praying for mr b and you're just wasting your time wasting your time ticket so we'll check we'll check the scriptures of course everything goes back to the scripture genesis from verse um, chapter 5 verse 2 it says male and female created he them and he blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. This is from the King James Bible. So God created male and female. So it means that it's an error. It's an error for me to remain single. From the Bible, from the scriptures. It's an error. Yes, yeah, some people are going to be throwing arrows at me now ah jesus even jesus christ did not marry he had his own except the lord tells you that in this life i don't want you to marry there is a specific instruction that okay i want you to be a eunuch i want you to be something except for that but if there is no instruction as that then it's an error then it's an error so as a single bear this in your mind that god wants you to get married God wants you to get married. Don't allow the devil mess up with your mind. God wants you to get married. That's why I'm showing you in the scriptures. God wants you to get married. At some point, Genesis 2. Let's check there and... Dumb. Genesis 2.20 and it says but for Adam there was not found a helpmate for him so God created the animals male and female male and female male and female male and female for reproduction and other things and he created Adam and noticed that ah nobody to help Adam lion had a helpmate at least when the lion and his wife gives birth. The wife is there taking care of her cubs while the lion goes out Abby, to uh, 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 look for food and all that and do that, all that for his own lioness. But for Adam, there was nothing like that. So God saw the need for a helper. So he made one for Adam. So, and we know that whatever God created in the beginning was how or is how he wants it to be, even till the end. 
So for you as a man, a good spinster, good looking spinster, good looking bachelor, God wants, God does not want you to be alone. God does not want you to be alone. First, what did we say? God created them male and female together. Male and female, not male and female. Male and female. Male and female. Do you understand? Secondly, God does not want you to be alone. So don't allow the devil to mess up with your mind to say, eh, to, ah, marriage, marriage will not take us to heaven. Of course, marriage won't take you to heaven. But I always say that we should enjoy our heaven here on earth. From here. From here, we should start enjoying heaven. So I cannot suffer here and be waiting for heaven. I want to see, you know, the, the, the Bible says your kingdom come. Your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. So before I should see the will of God, I cannot live on this earth not seeing the will of God. And I'm waiting to get to heaven to see the will of God. I want to see the will of God done here on earth in my life before I get to heaven. So the the, the the kind of things I see here on earth should give me a picture of, okay, this is how heaven should look like. That was God's original plan for us. And that is still God's original plan for us. So, the second point I'm saying, God does not want you to be single. Hello? God does not want you to be single. Let's check the third point. And it says, 24. Genesis 2 24. He said, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. This is God speaking. A man should leave his father, his mother. Notice the word shall. So it is something that is meant to happen. I don't know if you understand. It's something that is meant to happen. A man should or shall leave his father, leave his mother and cleave to his wife. So there is a wife and there is a man. I don't know if you get my point. There is a wife and there is a man. So the wife is the woman. So it means that God has created you as a lady to be a wife to a man someday. No matter how long it takes. But know this, that is God's will for you. God has created you to be what? A wife. God has created you to be what? A helper. Ogasa, God has created you to be a husband, a protector to your wife. So let the devil not mess up with your mind and tell you that this is a, this is not God's will. God's will for you and I is for us to live and cleave. That is God's will. So don't don't sit at the point where you say, ah, it's maybe it's not God's will for me to get married. That is a lie from the pit of hell. We have seen it in the Bible. God created them male and female. God saw the man. Ah ah. The man has been walking and walking, nobody to help him. Says, oh yeah, there should be a helper. We made a help, he made a helper immediately. So it means for every man there is a helper. Hello, sir. For every man there is a helper. Hello, ma. For every man there is a helper, which is you. So as far as you're a helper, you need a man to help. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. So for every man there is a helper. As a helper, as a lady, you know you're a helper. That means you're supposed to, you're not supposed to help yourself. You're not helping another helper. You are helping a man. So that's how God has created to be. So don't allow the devil spoil your mind. Don't allow the devil mess up with your mind. Don't allow the devil, you know, make you feel like God is not interested in you. God is so much interested in you. God is so much interested in every bit of your life. Hallelujah. This is where I'm going to be stopping for today. I mean, my talking. So we are going to be praying. First of all, we are going to thank God. Thank God for this eye opener. Thank God that his will for you is to be married. And to be married lightly and enjoy your marriage. His will for you is to get the right spouse for your life. 
His will for you as a man is to get a helper. His will for you is to live and cleave. In joy, in happiness, in bliss, in, 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 in good health, in prosperity. That is God's will for you. Can you just bless the Lord? Can you just bless the Lord? Lord, we bless you because this is your will for us and we are grateful. This is your will for us. Yes, this is your will for us. You had it all planned out. You had it all set out. So we need to just come into that reality. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Firstly, as a single, we are going to be opening your mouth this minute to ask God for a helper. As a man, you're going to ask for your helper. Not another man's helper. For your helper. As a lady, you're going to be asking God for your own husband. For your own husband. For your own husband. So can you open your mouth and ask God? Yes. We are asking God from the standpoint of the system of provision that he has already made. We are not asking him because we are scared. We are not asking him because we feel that I might die single. We are asking him because he has already said it. So we are putting his word back to him. Father, Lord, you have created a helper for somebody. Lord, we ask for the helper. In the name of Jesus. We ask for his own helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we ask for her own husband. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we ask for his own helper. We ask for her own husband. Ikamando uh, sheketa rekemento pelesika falatosiata. You can go ahead and ask God of the specific kind of helper you want. Ikamando shikabala reketunde lefinde lekeis kapata you can go ahead and ask God for the specific kind of husband you want. A helper that will be the bone of your bone, a helper that will be the flesh of your flesh. Ziko bande lekata laborato, reketonde lekata laborato ikaba. Zimantos e tenga palokoto ikaba. Oh, young lady, go ahead and ask God for a good head. Zile de gabande kalaborato, for the man shall be the head of his home. Hey, suzuzundo balete. Your husband should be the head of the home. So you ask God for a good head. Le kubalande kabarante skabala. Re kashu gudumbe lekete lebelebete. A head with a lot of wisdom. Zima mama mama nento balaya. A head that is sound in thinking zanuku balante velento kiskibante leya a head that fears the lord zubaranda be kalabaros kapalataya a head that loves the lord jilanas embanon to banka tai kabarotos kiba for a head that loves the lord will not will not in any way reduce his love for you ah embarrasses and to make a head that genuinely loves the lord we take care of you uh, and bring out the best in you uh, zamamba baman and those and they could then be like at all reketombe skibalata pray against every everything that is not of of god pray against every helper pray against every every head that is not of god your helper cannot be the one that will bring you down you can't get the helper that will bring you down the word says helper someone that will help you to expand someone that will help you to live rightly someone that will help you to focus on the will of god hallelujah you know some of us realize the prayer of our spouse you know 
as a single i used to do that when i hear hear my friends say ah, I'm, I'm praying for my spouse i'm praying for my husband and i'm like hey ah is it not too early but my dear it's not too early <laughs> kaya baladash it is not too early you need to start speaking it the same way you speak about your health the same way you speak about your finances that is the same way you speak about your marriage because if your marriage falls if your marriage fails your health will be in trouble your finances will be in trouble hey kababa barata shinga balato siyata so lift up your voice and begin to pray kibala kadambe shunani yakada call them forth aya kumba laka he will come he will not tarry aya jika bala bala tendele ketele barata she will come she will not tarry zika bamba lekada leku bala tanga lift up your voice and say lord wherever they are any dealing they need to go through deal with them ma lutu sina kambele koronde kataya jibarande bolokuski valatai kapatala riba bamba bakoshina tenga bando kopalataya and also pray for yourself and say lord whatever in me that will that will come up to cause problems in my marriage lord take it away reka kokusika paika zika pakoko no bala teika zivre teika barandos epelekata whatever in me that will cause a trouble eh zubala bada mando ko bala baro take it away zele gibara to bakabando ko barataya zika baba baba rando ko balataya i will be the best spouse to my fiance or fiance is a kubala barata i will be the best spouse to my husband or wife zuko bande leketoska zile kumbarata ibaraku kukuski balataika jika taya rekutumbe lekavalata ikabaratosi ya taya lekusekeita bakata zikutumbe ketebelete rupopopopopadesh aba repopopopopadesh ada yekunukumbe lekate nebaranto bakalete oh shanende Let go no sibanta. Go ahead, go ahead and speak what you want into the ears of God. This minute, rekete kutumbe lekete lebarata. Rekata no 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 shidanta belondo bekanta. E sukundo kubalata ya. My husband will not be a problem. Ma mu 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 nu mu nu ma shukumba leka melengo no marata ya. Zinde kada na 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 balumbe lekete leboru tu ye kabante valata ya. Shi katai kubasa i kubondo kubalata ya. Zibarando kubalataiza zukudukudume likite bilikite barata rekaton sekate rekaton sekate zibalendo belekadeleka whatever is needed ah uh, it shall be provided manutu bilikite barande beloko balekataya shamba baba baba rekotokotosia rekotokotosia zepe koto belekata rokoto belekata belekata idaba in the name of Jesus at this moment you are going to be praying up against distractions distractions i had one distractions in case you are engaged or you are about to be engaged and you're looking for convictions and you are distracted things are just coming up and you are getting scared day by day you're asking yourself is this going to be? ah god you're asking yourself god what if i get and it's not your will and all that we are going to be scattering every strategy of the enemy to distract us you know it is possible it is possible you know you can just wake up and from a fearful dream even somebody can even just come to you and tell you something that is ah and you're like hey god it, yes I, it happened to me it happened to me i was destabilized but for the mercies of god but for the mercies of god so can we come against every form of distraction every form of distraction kabele kotombe letele ya Rokotombe lekate velendos e palataya zile kopanda e kebiriendo palataya. When we see her, we will know her. When we see him, we will know him. But muru no mo shumalando boko radia. We will not struggle to know the will of God. Reke deke donde lebaroto belia tavale kataya. We will not struggle to know the will of God. Zeke de beka da. Reke beka beka dambe. Reke beka beka bande kola barataya kabarato sakaya thala. Reke de we will not struggle to know the will of God. Rege do godombe lega de gade le godombe lega de le maratai. Rege bega bala no shiga bala maratombe lega de la kataya. Indo borosi gada mbele katanda ko yika baratai ka. 
when Adam saw his wife, he said, ah, this is the bone of my bone. Uh, this is the flesh of my flesh. He was able to recognize the will of God. Uh, so pray that you will recognize the will of God when you see it. Uh, you will not be distracted. Uh, in the name of Jesus, finally, for, for, this, for this episode, we are going to be praying against strange women and strange men. You know, things can just happen. Things can just happen. For a few days, I've just been thinking, can someone just, just be manipulated to start acting in a very wrong way? Kai! In a very wrong way. If you're married and you're watching, you have to take this prayer seriously. You're single? Yes, take the prayer seriously. Strange women, strange men that will just come from nowhere and cause havoc. You know, strange men that will come from nowhere and cause havoc. I've, I've, I've heard of stories that a husband was just advised wrongly and that was how the marriage started crumbling. Strange men. Strange human beings from nowhere. Kaya balado shikatala barataya. Come on, open your mouth and pray against them. Mande kubarande velekata barada. Rika baba 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 baba. We pray against strange men. We pray against strange women in our lives, in the lives of our spouses. Reko to be liki di barata bakuba raki di kidi barataya. Reko to kotom belekata le banda barataya. Ziba roba baba 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 by the blood of Jesus Christ hey, mama we separate ourselves from strange men we separate ourselves from strange women men Projected to cause havoc in marriages, in relationships. Shama na mana mana, ekos kebe kada libero tobe liki do bara tobe. Riko balo balo biya kos e kate libero koto bile kate le bara ta. Riko to koto koto kobele te kate kia balo bara ta. Hallelujah. You know the effect of these strange, strange, strange women. Solomon talked about it in Proverbs. You can go ahead and read it. You know, it's a strange woman that takes a man with her eyelids. <laughs> it's as literal as it is. It's as literal as it is. Of course, you don't know where your spouses go. They stay in the office. They are everywhere. They are in the ho ho hospitals where you work. They are in your offices. They are in the church. They are everywhere. So we are going to be praying again. Lord, we exempt, we separate ourselves uh, from strange men. We separate ourselves in the name of Jesus Christ. We separate ourselves in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you. We thank you for a good time in your presence. We thank you. For we are delivered. The devil does not have our minds anymore. The devil does not have our marriages. The devil does not have our relationship. He does not have our spouses. We thank you because our spouses come in. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I'm going to be dropping some prayer topics because of time we couldn't go into them that you can pray as a single and you keep praying them you keep praying them as a single I'll be dropping them in the comment box or in the video as you as you, uh, for you to see it thank you so much for joining us thank you once again and I want to assure you something that when you pray God hears <laughs> God hears so don't be discouraged just keep praying it's just like hitting a wall one hit in a on a 
wall by a hammer cannot bring it down you keep hitting and you keep hitting and you keep hitting before you know it the whole wall comes crumbling down so i want you to keep praying and keep praying until you see the results until you see the manifestation of god's will in your life and in your marriage and god will help you so much in the name of jesus and i don't want to take this time to pray for all my friends and all my friends of course you're you're all my friends that are planning for their weddings i want to pray for you or i am praying for you that god will provide all that you need he will grant you helpers he will grant you human resources financial resources he will grant you all the help you need just keep on speaking the help wherever you see a difficulty speak the help of God and you see God's help in full manifestation in your life thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Sundays with the love the Spencer so we'll see you next Sunday by 7 p.m. see you there I love you <laughs>